Okay, boys, look lively. We're in the thick of it. Collins! Snap out of it, kid. It's no worse than taking a cold shower. I'll be okay, Brad. Just thinking about home. get killed in this war. You should have thought of that before you enlisted, Corbett. Who enlisted? I did. Well, maybe after we meet up with the others, our orders will be to return to base. We sure could use a little hiatus. Hi. Is that Spanish, Sarge? Si, senor. It means a legal sleep, a legal drink, and a legal ha ha ha. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> Carrie, this is Hummingbird. Come in. Hummingbird, this is Carrie. Go ahead. Proceed to coordinate Baker 65 and pick up the rest of your outfit. Major Hawkins will give you further instruction. Roger. Here's something that'll make you happy. Girls! No, but you'll enjoy it anyway. Wow! Hey, now, there's a fight I'd like to get into. fighting instead of going right through it? Keep rolling, Corporal. Straight ahead. What's wrong? Controls don't work right. Something's jammed. What do you think it is? Would you like me to get out and look? All right, knock it off, Corbett. All right, take it easy, take it easy. Nobody's blaming you. Can we make it to Baker 6-5? Don't ask me. All right, Collins, radio Hummingbird and give him the scoop. Okay. Hummingbird, this is Carrie. Come in, Hummingbird. Okay, Carrie, we read you. What's up? We're at position Baker 5, 6, and we're in trouble. Something's wrong with our steering mechanism and we can't maneuver too well. Hummingbird, you with us? Still with you, Carrie. Hold on. Looks like you broken eagles better pull in your wings and come home. Can you make it? We'll sure try. Good luck. Over and out. Corbett, how long do you think it'll take to repair it? It's anybody's guess. A couple of days, maybe. Two days? What a break! Oh, soft beds, good shower, dames. Dames, dames, dames! That's all you guys ever talk about. What else is there to talk about? If it isn't Brad talking about that nurse of his, it's you chirping about every skirt you've ever met. Hey, look, Sonny, dames are very important. Right, fellas? Yeah, but where are you going to find any back at the base? Nurses are things, remember? Yeah. They're also lieutenants. Yeah. 
Can't you just see Captain Caswell letting us date those lieutenants? How about you and Alice? That was different. There was no Caswell at that base. How long since you've seen her, Sarge? Too long. And I'll bet Caswell will be happy to see us. What, are you kidding? Nothing makes that guy happy. He's the worst stickler for GI red tape I ever saw. I think we're running here, soldier. This is no slot box. Police the area. Lieutenant Brent. Yes, sir. They should be around the hill any minute now. Did they say if anyone was hurt? No, just some damage to be repaired. Relax, Alice. Just think how surprised you'll be to see you. Oh, do you know someone in that tank? Yes, Sergeant Dunn. Corporal. Come with me. It's Madigan's the name, Lieutenant. I, uh, feel sick. You're just dehydrated, soldier boy. All you need is some salt tablets. Hello, Sergeant. Alice, what are you doing here? Oh. I use my info. All right, Sergeant, that'll be enough. Lieutenant. Lieutenant. Yes, sir. I'm sure you're needed in the hospital, and I have a lot to talk over with Sergeant Dunn. Yes, sir. Sorry I got carried away, sir. I haven't seen Lieutenant Brent in months. Regardless, Dunn, I'd like you to keep in mind that she's not only a woman, but an officer as well. Does that mean she's only for officers? I gotta get some rest, sir. I'm beat. All right, Sergeant. As soon as I brief you on what's been going on. And I can assure you, it'll only take a moment. Operation Spider is about to enter its second and most important phase. And we need every man and tank we have. When does it start? In approximately 72 hours. Your tank should be ready by then. My men could sure use a rest. Can't say that I'd be sorry about it myself. Especially with Alice here? You mean, uh, Lieutenant Brent, sir? It wasn't the PRO boys who tagged this action operation spider. There's a real purpose behind it. Each unit will serve as a spider's leg, so to speak, to gain back some of the lost ground, especially since the enemy's latest breakthrough. Now, this is going to be a joint action, with the Marines, the infantry, the tank corps, and the Air Force all striking at once. This action should be the knockout punch that'll get us back up to the 38th parallel. I know all about it, sir. Well, I'm refreshing your memory. Besides, these are the new orders that just went out to the other tank outfits in the field. We are going to start here, at this junction west of Pohang. This area will be bypassed, and the Marines and the infantry will provide a pincer movement to cut off the lines of supply of this entire area and to isolate about three battalions. Now, here are your orders. 
As soon as your tank's ready, you will proceed to this area and join your unit. Then at 0600 on Tuesday, you will attack here in the Pohang section. Now your job will be to knock out any enemy blocks and to mop up behind the infantry. Then watch those guerrillas. They can be as dangerous as regular troops. Yes, sir. Now, command's putting a lot of importance on this action. I'd like you to be sure that everything that's said here and the way you're briefed... Don't worry, don't worry, Captain. My men will do that job. I'm sure they will. Can I go now, sir? I'd like to check on my men. Good night, Sergeant. Take advantage of this rest. You'll need it. I will, sir. Good night. How long do you think it'll take to fix it, Buck? Oh, at least another day and a half, side. Uh, I wouldn't mind if it was a month and a half. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> well, I'll check with you later. You take care of my baby, huh? Like you's my very own. Hey, uh, nurse, you're no kidding. I don't feel too well. What uh, seems to be the trouble? Well, my uh, temperature's rising rapidly. My, my. That can be a serious symptom. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's why I rushed right over. Well, you did the right thing. I'll arrange for you to be put to bed at once. Oh, no, no. <laughs> well, I don't think it's that serious. Oh? And what would you prescribe? Go out with me? Is that all? Well, I think that can be arranged. I swell. Hey, you see, I feel better already. But only if you let me alone now so that I can finish my work. That's a deal. Where do we meet? Where else? Egg Charlie's at 8 o'clock. Oh, sure, and you're a fine girl, O'Brien. And you're a darling. Now be off with you. Egg Charlie's 8 o'clock. The little chickens were most generous tonight. You most brave warriors will have an excellent breakfast. <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> egg Charlie should be knighted for stealing those fresh eggs for us. And those powdered eggs should be fed back to the chickens. <laughs> that would be a switch. You're right. He's been a great morale booster for the men. That's why they all come here. Correction. It's his little Eurasian helper that brings them here. <laughs> well, you can't exactly blame them. Nico's quite a dish. That's a new name for it. Now, Norma, just because she's led a different sort of life from yours doesn't mean you can't like each other. Nicely put, Professor. Now tell me, does that go for you and Sergeant Dunn as well? Now, what do you mean by that? Look, Captain, you're a well-educated man, aren't you? Rich background, the whole bit. Why don't you like a fellow human being just because he's led a, a different sort of life than yours? <laughs> Who's the snob, Captain? What makes you think I don't like Sergeant Dunn? Making it pretty tough for him and Alice, aren't you? You girls tell each other everything. <laughs> you guys don't? Well, anyway, this has nothing to do with it. I just want Alice to be sure That's not That's what I something. mean. You just want Alice to stay in her own class. Namely, you. What's the matter, Captain? Can't stand the competition? <laughs> Look. Take the word of an old expert and don't try to break it up. Those two kids have been in love a long time. The war couldn't break it up, and, and I don't think you can. You know, you'd do a lot better with snobs like me. I like them, Rich. Excuse me, Captain. My date's just arrived. Tonight's my night for the enlisted net. Hi. I was bloody worried about you. So was I about you. I wrote you dozens of letters, but you moved around so much I thought I'd save them. I'll give them all to you in one big bundle. How about right now? But, darling, we just got here. So? No one will notice if we go? All right. 
Why? They don't even know what year it is. That's nice. What's nice? Being in love like that. What do you know about being in love, sunny boy? Don't give me that sunny boy routine. How many times must I tell you? You're married. What do they do? Let you out of kindergarten to go to the wedding? Ah. What a tomato. Yeah, she sure has got what it takes. Lay off, will you, fellas? Why? She's a living doll. I mean, you shouldn't talk about her that way. Why not, kid? She don't mind. She's been around plenty. Still, she's a woman, and I don't like the way you're talking about her. Get him! His mother sure did a good job bringing him up to respect ladies. What's wrong with that? Easy, kid. What would you gentlemen like? Yes. Drink or food? Wrong. Both times. Sit down for a minute. Uh-uh, not allowed. Come on, we got leprosy or something? Sorry, not now. Maybe later. You heard what the lady said, Corbett. She's busy. Thank you. It's the idea, Collins. What's with this crazy boy scout, anyway? Uh, I'd like to apologize for those guys. That's all right, soldier boy. I know them. They're like everyone else around here. Except maybe you. My name's Danny Collins, and we're here for a couple of days until our tank's repaired. I I'd like to know if I can see you later. Oh, you're not so different. Just a different approach. No, I mean just to talk, that's all. I just want to talk with you. Just to talk? Yeah, I, I think I might like that. Later after we close, okay? The little American needs more than just a little interest in my little flower. I'm not your little flower. You're in the wrong garden. Is he in the right one? Don't be so smart, Charlie. Besides, he's probably no different from the rest. Oh, don't get ruffled, my little bird. I just asked you a question. I don't like your questions. Remember, nobody owns me. You better stick to eggs, Charlie. <laughs> well spoken, my pet. I like you when your eyes flash. Now, take those drinks and sing for our customers. That what say come here for your songs and the eggs I get for them. Now take them. I will start the music. Here you go. Oh. Hey, uh, sing it pretty, huh? Mm. Remember, you came in with me, honey. I'm not forgetting. Time will tell if you should fall in love with me. If every dream I dream comes true. I must admit that I adore you. Time will tell if you should fall in love with me. If in your eyes I'll always see a love that's mine. In the past, I would search for romance, my heart's filled with despair. But now at last, if romance has a chance, my heart's willing to share time will tell 
Perhaps when winter turns to spring If love is just a passing thing What is to be? Time will tell if you should fall in love with me If every dream I dream comes true Man, that babe is a human able. Give me one with a shape like that. I'd never drop it. If you should fall in love with me If in your eyes I'll always see A love that's mine eternally Boy, she must have an hourglass hidden under there. And guys talk about those Eurasians in Shanghai? This would put them all to shame. From outside the charts, my heart's willing to share. Time will tell, perhaps when winter turns to spring. If love is just a passing thing, what is to be? Darling, time will tell. soon. Come back now. Good night. See you tomorrow, John. forgot about our date. We worked so late tonight. That's all right. Well, you, you said you wanted to talk. Yeah. Do you have a family? No, no, I live alone. Well, it's not a very nice place. Egg Charlie owns it. Gee, you're beautiful, Nico. Then why don't you kiss me? Well... What you do that for? I wanted to see if I'd like it. <laughs> so much better when you help. I like you. You're a nice change from those others. I... I better go now. I'm very tired. Can I see you tomorrow? If you want to. Good night.
Don't look now. But Miss Happy Hips is watching us. Why don't you like her? It's not her, I guess. It's the competition. At least you're honest. What's she hanging around for? I don't know. I'll ask her. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, I hope you don't mind my watching you work. No, not at all. As a matter of fact, I thought you might like to help. Could I? Sure. I wanted to ask her so many times. Well, why didn't you? Well, I, I thought you didn't like me. Oh, now that's silly. I know what you think of me. But I want to do something good, too. And you don't have to like me. Just let me help. We'd like very much to have you help us, Nico. Come on. Boy, now there's a funny bet. What is? Come here. Well, what do you know? That's what I mean. Imagine Nico using that gorgeous body of hers for that kind of work. Maybe there's more to her than we can see. If that's possible. That's Collins. He ought to know. Let's get to work. Makes two out of three. Hazards of war. Yeah. Talking about the hazards of war. Somebody ought to wise up Collins about Nico. And yeah, he's right. Maybe you ought to do it, Sarge, huh? Ah, uh, it won't be easy. It's kind of stuck on her. Yeah, but somebody's got to do it. That little Jezebel can wrap Collins around her finger in ten seconds. She's after every guy that's breathing and got a paycheck. Hi, kid. Hey, you, you want to challenge a champ to a game? You keep your lousy mouth shut about Nico. You wouldn't know a nice girl if you fell over one. <laughs> That's okay, Sarge. I can take care of myself. Sure, you can. It's a big boy, now. <laughs> I'll teach you to start a fight with me, you little punk. Oh. All right. That's enough. <laughs> That's enough, Corbett. Now, he started it. And I'm finishing it. <coughs> no wonder the Marines rejected me. Ah. You're all right. You got guts. Yeah. Here, kid. Thanks. Say, kid, Skids and I are going over on a picnic tonight with the nurses. Alice liberated a can of ham and a cake. Want to go along? Picnic? Out here? Where? We found a nice little spot near here. <laughs> Is it out of bounds? Yeah, so what? That's right, buddy. We like to live out of bounds, <laughs> you dirty rat. <laughs> can, I, can I bring a date? Sure. Bring a date. Yeah, well, let's get cleaned up and get going, huh? <laughs> Besides, I, I, 
I think it's worth the risk. Penny. I was just sitting up there, balancing myself on the edge of the moon, looking down. With us. With us. Everyone like us who are in love and have to be separated. I'm lucky. I've seen you six times in the past seven months. That's what I mean. Tonight there's no war in the whole world tonight. Tomorrow. Now. Forget about tomorrow. Oh. Well, they don't always get slapped. Don't you know it's not the polite to slap a soldier who's fighting a war? My mother told me that's the only sure way to handle fresh guys. Oh, bully for her. Did I hurt you? I'm gonna put in for a purple heart first thing in the morning. Look, Skid, I'll level with you. I have no intentions of getting all steamed up over some guy who's going to go back to open a gas station after the war and, and expect me to stay home and take care of a house full of kids. Well, who said I'm going to open up a gas station? Besides, Oh, I just it? use that as an example. Guy I married. He's got to buy me. Hudson Bay is a swimming pool. And I want a, a solid gold bathtub with a built-in champagne shower. Well, I get the message. One thing I'd like to know is why'd you join the Army nurses? I figured I'd find me a millionaire soldier boy, nurse him back to health. We'd live happily ever after. Don't you ever take anything seriously? A four. Besides, you're not really interested in me anyway. Right now, any girl would look just as good to you. You're wrong, Red. And you want to know what I think? I think you're a phony. A big, blarney phony with a sharp tongue and you don't mean a word you've said. Ooh, and I'm going to kiss you even if you slap me again. Get one thing, soldier. Mm -hmm. I'm your superior officer. So? Well, I already to stop these night maneuvers immediately. Mm. What are you doing? I don't see any bars in your shoulder. You can get court-martialed for this. Sure. I'm not a very nice person. You shouldn't say that. Why, well, you're as much a lady as anyone I know. No, Danny. I'm just a native girl with mixed parents. Look, I travel all over the country. I follow soldiers to sing for them at certain drinks and... Well, maybe someday if I save enough money, I'll go to America. Then perhaps I can wear nice clothes and be a lady. Being a lady just doesn't mean nice clothes. It means understanding and, and warmth and honesty and being kind. That's why I said you were a lady, Nico. Oh, I'm sorry if I said anything wrong. <laughs> no, you, you said wonderful things. Things I remember all my life. And even if I never get to go to America, I'd be very proud and hold my head very high. Hey, come on, kids. It's getting late, huh? 
Then we better get going, Sarge. Old G.I. Caswell will have the blood hunts after us. Yeah. How'd right, you gals go on back to the Jeep? We'll clean up and meet you back there later. All righty. It was great to get out of those fatigues for a change. Oh, boy. Almost made me feel like I was back in Pennsylvania again. <laughs> Nico, as long as you're going to help us again tomorrow, why don't you stay in our tent tonight? And we'll save you the trouble of walking back to your place. Besides, you can have a snack with us when we get back. Is it all right? Sure, sure, kid, it's okay. I'd be honored to sleep in your tent. You are both very kind, and I thank you very much. Shh. I hear something. Fifth Avenue bus, no doubt. Spread out. We'll try to flush I just couldn't do it, Brad. You're gonna have to learn, boy. <laughs> Try to put the Jeep away without waking up the whole camp, huh? You okay? Sure. We'll be okay now. Come on. And stay alert. Those monkeys don't usually travel around alone. Come on.
stay here. What's up, Sergeant? Gorillas taking the medical supplies. Got two of them. You boys cover the street from inside. There may be still a few more around. We better spread out. And be careful, Captain. Kind of spooky. Yeah, but it ain't Halloween. I think we cleaned them all out. Robert, take a look. How is he? Seems to be okay. Uh, take him over to the docks. <clears throat> I'm afraid this is only the beginning. They could be back. I doubt it, sir. I don't think those gorillas are part of the main force. Well, I hope you're right. This could upset the plans for the second phase of Operation Spider. I'll report this incident immediately. You and your men better get some sleep. We may be leaving tomorrow. Yes, sir. Later. It sounded like you were going back into action tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, big tough warriors again. Why don't you be serious? Aren't you scared? Sure. This is a crazy war. Bottled up all day in an iron sweat box. Surprise attacks, never see the enemy. Picking them off one by one, it's crazy. I want to get home. And I want to take you with me. Me? Are you sure? Nico, I meant what I said. You're real special to me. I want to take you back to Wisconsin with me. Wisconsin? Is that better than Brooklyn? Better than Brooklyn? Why, this is Brooklyn with cows. Oh. Well, I'll believe you when I get there. Well, every GI in the Army has promised to take me back to the States. All 48 of them. I'm a man of my word.
You're my man. Yes, sir. I understand. We're all set for the second phase. Oh, 0500? Check. Thank you, sir. We'll need it. Roll out your sleeping beauties. Your golden chariot waits without. What are we leaving? Right now and on the double. Hey, Brad. Yeah? Do you think I have time to say goodbye to someone? I'm afraid not. Come on, let's go. What is it? They're moving up. Contact Hummingbird and ask for instructions. Hummingbird, this is Carrie. Come in, Hummingbird. Come in, Hummingbird, this is Carrie. The radio's out. Let's get out of here.
she won't move. Shut her down. Hummingbird, this is Carrie. Come in, Hummingbird. Come in, Hummingbird. Come in, Hummingbird. This is Carrie. Skids, cover me. I'm going out and take a look at that gearbox. At it. Of all the crazy freaks, that grenade smashed a tie rod. If we only had one more round of 90 millimeter, we could blast them. Skids, how's the 30 caliber? Well, we can keep them pinned down for quite a while. Can't we call for air support? The radio's still out. You big brain soldier boys gonna come out and fight? Or do you plan to fry in your steel coffin? We've got until 1800. Four more hours and we'll be cremated. We'll never get back. You cut it out, Corbett. We're gonna make it. No, Corbett. We're not gonna die here. We're gonna make it. Believe that. We're sitting here like a crippled duck waiting for some North Korean chef to cook us. And you make like a preacher. Well, we, we got an iron foxhole and we've been in tighter spots. <laughs> Oh, I see a few of those characters have decided not to wait for an evening performance. It's a suicide squad. Matinee's over. If we don't get out of here before dark, those guys will creep up and tie TNT to our tail. Or douse us with gasoline.
Well, let's ditch it and run for it. Now, take it easy. Don't panic. You guys realize that if we try to make a break for it now, we wouldn't last a second without machine gun fire? That's great. We're stuck, but good. What do we do now? One man might make it. To be fair about it, we'll draw. Long match goes. How about you, Skids? Me? I'm the middle-sized bear. You're it, Corbett. Get on your spikes. We'll cover you. You're gonna make the most important broken field run of your life. You gotta get that tie rod back to us. I can't go. I won't go. It's suicide out there. Well, what do you think it is in here? Lay off him. In this frame of mind, he couldn't make a first down without carrying him. Well, you picked a fine time to turn chicken. Knock it off, Skids. Two hours before dark. Those creeps will fry us for sure then. Oh, they're tearing the kid to pieces. I'm gonna get him. It's no use, Sarge. They'll only tear you up. That crazy guy go. What the hell came over him? I don't know. But I sure hope he makes it. He 
He made it. Well, the first lap, anyway. Conscience bothering you? Well, this is no time to be wrestling with your conscience. I just wish I hadn't have said all those lousy things to Corbett. Hey, Buck, how long are you going to take to glue this thing together? Glue? Yeah. You're lucky we had a new water pump. It'll be ready in a couple of minutes. Hey, Lieutenant, I wonder what's up. What happened to you? Harry? I got to get back. Tank got knocked out. Got to have a tie rod. Hurry. I'll get it. We got to roll out of there. All right, fella. Unwind. Give it to us slow. There are only two men alive. They're trapped. They'll burn if we don't get that sweat box moving before dark. Yeah. Joe, you go with him. He'll need help. I'll send more men when I can spare them.
There's not a sign of them. No, they won't take any chances till it's dark. Then the fireworks start. This is the best approach. If we came back the way I left, we'd get all chopped up. Yeah, where's she sitting? Over the hill and straight down. Well, it's a long chance, but it might work. I'll go over first and you follow, you game? I'll try anything. Oh, we're kidding ourselves, Sarge. I got a hunch Corbett got clobbered. Ah! I got a feeling he made it. Corbett. Keep those guys pinned down. Open the hatch. Yes, sir.
Okay, start her up. We're in business now. Okay, old Carrie. Let's kick off and get going. <laughs> 